All right, so let's go ahead and install MySQL on a PC running Windows Vista. We're going to be using the XAMPP for Windows package, and this is the web page where you can download XAMPP for Windows. The URL is up here in the location bar. The XAMPP for Windows package includes all of the pieces that we're going to be using, plus a lot more. Apache web server, MySQL latest version, the latest version of PHP, and a lot of other pieces that we won't be using here, but you may find useful at another time. Go ahead and download the installer by clicking on this link. I've already downloaded it and saved it to the desktop. And we have it right here. Before we actually run the installer and install XAMPP, we need to make sure that there's an important setting in Windows is set correctly. Windows Vista has a feature called UAC, which we can access in user accounts, user accounts, Windows Vista has a feature called User Account Control, which needs to be off. User Account Control prevents programs from gaining administration level access without user intervention. XAMPP requires administration level access. User Account Control was turned on by default in some early versions of Vista. It is turned off by default in current versions. And we just want to make sure that it's actually off. And we can see here that it's not checked. And so this feature is off in this installation. So you'll want to check that and make sure that it's off. It needs to be off in order to run XAMPP. Close the control panel and go ahead and install XAMPP now. Select a language. Notice this alert that user control is deactivated and that's what you expect. So that's correct. Go ahead and press OK. It's really important. XAMPP won't run without it. Next. The destination folder, C colon backslash XAMPP, is OK. That's an unusual place to install an application, but this isn't a normal application. This actually is a system level service. So that's a common way to do that. And we'll go ahead and click Next. These are the checkboxes exactly how they need to be. You want a desktop icon. You want it in the Start menu. And you do not want anything installed as a service. We're not running this in a production environment. And really, if you're running a production environment, you probably don't want to run a package like this. Hit click install and now it's installing. XAMPP is installed. Click finish. And now we want to start the XAMPP control panel. So we'll go ahead and click yes. And this will start the XAMPP control panel. You can see we have an icon for it on the desktop. We'll start MySQL first and then start Apache. Don't need to start anything else. Close the control panel. Notice that it stays down here in our notification area so that we can launch it again if we need to. Now let's just bring up Firefox and make sure that it's all working. Type localhost. Localhost is a special address that means on my computer. And there it is. So the Apache web server is working and PHP is working. We can click on status here. These green lights are perfect. These red lights are just right because we're not running SMTP and we're not running FTP. We don't need it for our purposes. And XAMPP is now installed. There's one more piece of configuration that we need to do. If we run our command line on Windows and type in MySQL, this will not work. And the reason for that is that the MySQL command line client is not in the execution path. So we need to edit the execution path on Windows, and then this will work. So we'll go ahead and exit our command line and bring up the control panel again. What the execution path is, is the path of directories that Windows looks in in order to execute an executable program from the command line. So we'll go ahead and edit it. We'll click on System and Maintenance. Click on System and Advanced System Settings. Then down here, Environment Variables. The, the execution path is set in an environment variable called Path. And there it is. We'll click on Edit. This is a list of directories or folders in Windows that are separated by semicolons. So we'll want to put one at the end of the list. Semicolon, C colon, backslash, ZAMP backslash MySQL, backslash bin, and click OK, click OK, and click OK. And there we have it. We should be able to run MySQL now from the command line. 
And there we have it. Now MySQL is installed. XAMPP is installed. And it's all tested and working.